Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US indices. We'll be looking at the S&P, the NASDAQ and the DJ today. And we're also going to have a look at all the possible counts that we can have for the S&P 500. And then we'll look at our primary counts. And so starting with the weekly chart here, we're looking at primary wave four here on this low. We're looking for five waves up, so we can have it as one and two here and all the way up for three here, an A and a B and a C here for wave four, and then up for wave five. That's our primary count. It's also possible to have this wave five top in play here with this particular wave four already in play over here. Um, it's not a very nice count up through here, and a lot of the other markets around the world, such as Asia, have quite a clear, like the Nikkei's got a very clear three wave pattern to the upside up here. So it's probably not the case, but um, it's, it's um, yeah, it's possible. Um, but l we don't need to worry about it just yet because if we're looking from B to C here, we're looking for five waves down as one and two and three and four and five here, and then we'll move up from that point. But if we've got the fifth wave in here, we'll move down here in five waves exactly the same as wave C, except we'll call this wave one here and then an ABC back for wave two and then we'll move down. So we won't really know until we start pulling this apart here, but we'll certainly be looking at the long trade from uh, from these lows here and we'll just have to monitor it carefully and keep an eye on that in case it moves down. If it does, well then we know where we are and so on. There is one more um, other move within this structure as well. If I just go to the daily chart here, um, it's possible that we have. It's not that clear on these markets, but if you look at the DJ, it's a bit clearer. But it's possible to have this here, um, wave three here the wave, intermediate wave four here, and then up for one and back for two here, and then we go up for three here. So that's possible. Um, don't think it's the case, but it's something that needs to be put on the table. Um, so as it stands at the moment, we're looking at five waves down from wave B here, uh, down to wave C here, we're looking for five waves, there's one and two here, and down for three, four, and five. So we can be looking on the short side, uh, now we'll be looking um, at that, but let's go in and have a look at wave two here and let's look at some of the uh, possibilities within this particular structure. Um, first of all, um, it's possible too that this is the case here. So in this case we have wave one here, wave two here, wave three here, and ABC for wave four. It has moved rather high for wave four to sort of 50 odd percent, but um, rather than the 40 percent but it's possible like this so we need to keep an eye on this as well so in this case we'll have wave five here then an oops then an a and not very good and an abc here and then down from that point so that's also possible as well so we'll keep an eye on that um, but as we stand at the moment we'll just go to the hourly chart we've been looking at it like this here so um, and this is also another count here too where I've got wave one and two here and one and two and the third, fourth and fifth here for the third and the fourth and then an extended fifth wave here. Um, it, it's possible. Um, the other count for this though is that we have wave four um, sitting on this high here, on that little high just here and this wave three here, if I can move that down to this wave three here, and this all becomes wave one and two here. So there's a variety of counts here. Not that it matters a, a great deal at this particular point, but um, I like to use the video to, you know, to look at, at all the possible uh, counts. Now, with, um, with that in mind, we've got this um, from this low here, we've got an A wave here, and I've just put it simple as an A and a B and a C, but it's actually a triangle pattern in here, not that it's a big deal. Um, the other point uh, here is that um, uh, it never really moved up to its, a bit of a rock and a hard place, it moved higher than the wave four, um, but didn't move up into the 61.8% as a wave two here. So sometimes I notice that um, when a market, uh, when a, a rally comes up here 
to for wave two and it only goes to the 50% rather than the 61.8%, then it's possible that this whole correction can get bigger here. So it's possible that we've got wave four, uh, sorry, wave A here, wave B right on this low here, and then wave C over here with wave two over here. Okay, so um, in this case here, we would see five waves up to uh, the this area here, the 2850 area here, and then a move down from that point. Um, it's possible, so if you do see Friday being strong, then this is what we're looking at here. It's, it's, I just want to put all the counts on the table. So th this is, this is one of the counts. So it can, you know, move to that particular space and then move down from there. But um, as we've got it so far, our primary count is here with wave C over here and wave two here. Now, um, this little box here is the 50, 60, 1.8% retracement level from this low to this high here. And currently the move in here can be viewed as an A and a B and a C wave within this particular structure here. So um, yeah, it's possible for it to move up. We don't actually have a clear five wave pattern to the downside just yet. I mean, we've got five here, so we know we'll get five over here. Um, so yeah, there's a few things within this, uh, within this area here. Now, um, if all goes on track, what we do want to see is we want to see that 61.8%, which is the lower end of the box, of course, we want to see that as resistance. We know that we're going to get support here anyway, it just happened to be the 61.8% uh, there as well. And it's on what I call the midpoint, which is the 2750. So between 700 and 800, we look at the Fibonacci numbers of one, two, and three, five, and eight. So we call one, two, and three group one, the 50, the midpoint, midway as the midpoint, and then group two here, which is 65, 72, and 80 in here. Now, um, if we see further weakness here, then we know that we're on track and we'll be looking for wave four and wave five coming in here. We wanna see new lows be below here, okay? Um, that's what we're looking at, but that midpoint there, 50 as the resistance uh, here as the support here you want to see as as the resistance and then that will help confirm that we're actually going to drop lower now I just want to go to the tick chart uh, here for a moment because we talked about um, we talked about um, you know being short in in amongst all of this here so we know that number eight is a profit taking number where we see number eight um, so anyway, it's done its job. And also too, while we're in here as well, that shouldn't be there, that line. So at 28 here, which is a minor level, then we have the sub level, so 10, 20, and 30. So we know that if we ever get support on top of number three, wherever you see a number three, it's always, it's always going to be a group one of, 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 of a particular degree in structure. But we know that if we get a tested support, it's okay for the market to trade higher than that, but coming back and finding support on it, um, if we get support on number three, then we always look to go long from that point because what happens in the order flow and the market depth is that the market starts to think of the next strongest number, which is five. So this would be five here. So one is the strongest number, then five. So if three gets support here, people start thinking of five and they start forgetting about the previous number here. This number, th number three seems to sever it and getting support on top of group one goes long. So moving up into this space here, we're nowhere near getting um, being wrong here at this particular stage. I would only be wrong if we had support here. So in this case here, what we we're looking for is we we're looking for the A wave. We figured that the whole move up up here was was corrective not big well it confirmed it at this point here because this a wave here is in three waves so whatever happens after this it's all part of a corrective pattern and it still may be the case as I've mentioned before as well because you know it's possible that this oops a daisy not e but b here is that this is wave b here at the 61.8 percent and then we go 
all of this up for A, B and the C wave up here. So we need to be mindful of that. But we know that these lows taken out will be helpful to the downside. But on the short side as it stands at the moment, we were looking at um, this level here and we expect the market to, well, what happens is that um, the market comes down, bounces off, drops through here. Once we start getting the retest here, then we put the put the um, the signal um, under that. So in this case here, we can put that under here. That's what that would represent here. And just to go over that as well, we could put it here, here. We could even put it in here. I mean, a logical one would be if you didn't get those. This would be the logical one here. So it's come down, retest, and come made a new low, gone back, retested, and failed. So selling into weakness in terms of visually looking at a pattern, that's it. So um, yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll just leave it at that there for the time being, and looking. at um, the NASDAQ just on the hourly chart here. It's the same same thing here as well, exactly the same move down here. Um, and I can count it down in two different ways. I've got one and two here with the third and fourth here and the fifth here, and that's suitable. Otherwise, we can look at this here being the third wave here and the fourth wave sitting here and the, so on like that. So it it doesn't matter at this point because we're past that at the moment. Um, and we talked about both of those counts before. So in this case here, we have moved up to the 50-60% retracement level quite nicely. I'll just double check that in case I had it there as a wave four in that case. No, that's right, yeah. Um, so um, the market's broken low here, but as you can see now, we would have had five waves here. It's come back up and tested, so we could have had the this green line here, but then we could have moved it up to this one, um, and then we could move it up to this one, and then it breaks down. So it's pretty much the robo method that we use, um, or even the switch method that we use um, for trading strategies. Um, there's going to be support here. You know, one's the strongest number. It's going to get support here. It's got previous support here. It's a 61.8% mark here. So we can expect some support to come in here and retest supply before moving down and bouncing off this level here as well. So um, yeah, what we want to see here is is basically one and two here and three here and four here and five here. Once we get that five waves here, if we get five waves here, then we know that we'll get a counter trend and then we'll be moving down further. So we're in the right space for everything here. Um, if you're going to go short in these areas here, then we really need to wait for the first five waves to finish and then coming back up at this point, unless you really want to hold the stop out the way. Um, but then, yeah. So, yeah, we're just, just going to leave the stop out the way. Don't even need it, just out the way. Um, you can take profit in this area if you want to, um, leave some skin in the game so, so, you, so you're emotionally connected. Um, yeah, so that's that. And also, save that there. And we'll look at the DJ as well today. Not that it's uh, any different on the four hour chart. We've got the same move down as well from, uh, from wave B high here. Um, one and two here and three here and four here and five here and A and a B and a C to here. It's possible that this is a B wave in here as well and we can move up to here in a C wave as I mentioned before, um, but we'd need to see a strong move into, into all of this, okay? So um, let's see, otherwise we're just going to be drifting. So on the one hour chart with this here, um, it's the same scenario as well. Um, it looks like, I mean, I can see that, um, you know, we've had this move down through here. I just assume that's five waves, but um, you know what that means, so you need to check that. But this here, this would also be, um, I can see we've got one and two and three and four here. So we could expect this here from this wave high here to come back to 38.2%, which it is at the moment. So we've had that rally off the low coming. It may get a bit more complicated, and it may even go higher up here a little bit. But 
we should see that move down. So that would mean that this is wave one and two here and all of the third wave here, fourth and a fifth wave here. So that would just be that structure. Then we've got this one here. So this would be one and two here and one, two, three, four, five for here. Um, and then a bounce off here for wave four coming back up here, then wave five moving down below here. And of course this will retest back into this space here as well before moving down lower in that way. So yeah, look, there's lots of support in here. The 25,000 is a medium level in terms of the trading levels. So we have major levels first, then medium levels, then minor levels, then sub levels, and then micro levels. So they're very helpful because they all work on the Fibonacci ratio as well. Um, there's a few other little things in amongst all of that, but they just present the best support and resistance. Uh, there's number eight here again, profit taking number. So um, yeah, don't trade without the trading levels, I reckon. It's just, they're very simple and they can just be applied to whatever other indicators you're using. Um, they go back as a backdrop on the canvas. So very helpful indeed. They give you support resistance, which obviously gives you um, targets and places to put stops as well once you start to I mean, using the trading levels is good because what it does, it draws your attention to the price much more. And then you get to understand out of the 10 characters from 1 to 10, um, uh, each, one is, each, each one of those characters is, um, has its own personality and, um, and you get to know them. And then if you get to know them, then you get to know the markets. So it's all good. Alrighty. That's it, folks. Um, enjoy the weekend. Cheers.